Dr. Kazim Ori will be presenting your paper. Professor Ori received his degrees in BSNS and PhD in mining engineering and in mathematics from the UK. He has taught in several universities in mining economics and underground mining. He supervised more than 70 PhD and MS students. He's authored 12 books and more than 200 papers. And in 2008, he received an award for the Professor of the Year and also in 2009. Professor Ori. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you. We are going to talk about selection of tunnel support system by using multi-criteria decision-making tools, which is a slightly different subject from what we have heard. First of all, for a tunnel support system to select a support system for a tunnel, we obviously have different requirements, technical, that these are what we expect from our support system, technical methods, performance criteria, and of course, economics. Something which is not uh, taken very seriously in some presentations. Generally, as we had a, in the workshop the day before yesterday, we had <coughs> the support systems are chosen by some analytical calculations and experience. Different people gave different weights to these two methods. Some people thought that experience was more important and some thought that analytical work, like numerical methods, were more important. What is of most importance here is that designs, of course, they are designs that we all made, are often suitable, no doubt about it. They are good, they achieve the tunnels, but we cannot be sure that they are always optimal, economically optimal. This is what these methods do, that multi-criteria decision-making methods optimize, make the optimum, or shows the optimum, or ranks, gives a ranking for us between different methods, between suitable methods. And of course, we expect or we assume that the multi-criteria, that, uh, that this question, this problem is a multi-criteria decision-making problem. We all agree that it is. We don't expect only one thing from our support system. There are quite a few criteria that are to be fulfilled. Three methods are used in here, AHP, Pulses and Promethe, which I will go to very shortly. There is a tunnel for which we are going to design the support system in here. It's the main access tunnel in a coal mine, in a particular coal mine, a vast coal mine. It's the main entry of the mine, therefore it has a long life. Therefore the support system selection of the optimum support system is important. If this were, let's say, the production drift in a sub-level mine or even sub-level stoping mine or a sub-level caving mine, perhaps it would not have been of so much importance. The main tunnel which is going to serve the whole mine for tens of years, 40, 50 years. <coughs> Therefore, selection becomes of high importance. Geomechanical parameters of the rock mass and the in-situ stress have been measured and calculated as such. These are all 
described very well and in details in the paper. I am not going to talk about it all in here in the 10 to 15 minutes time that we have been given. And then modeling of the tunnel by Black Perry software. Geometry is defined. Geomechanical parameters of the surrounding rock mass were input to the model. People did talk about the black 3D. Do you find just a bit? So you are familiar with that. Geomechanical modeling of black 3D. Then what we as mining engineers have to do is to decide uh -huh. all the systems which could potentially be chosen for supporting this tunnel. <coughs> Starting by B40 shot grid, 5 cm and then 8 cm. Again, B40 shot grid with rock poles, different combinations, different types of support which are technically feasible or viable or possible to be chosen in that particular place or the technically possible support system which can be adapted or available all of them, 10 different types all the common types then Critical points in the tunnel, point one, tunnel roof, on the tunnel roof, two on the floor, and of course the other two important points in the tunnel. The ten different support systems that we showed that we showed are applied in the map of the numerical model that was described. For each support system, the displacements and the stresses are measured in all different points, one, two, three, and four. And in order to calculate the factor of state. Support systems, which did give us factor of safety of higher than two, are thought to be acceptable in here. Of course, people would argue about that, but in, for this tunnel, we thought factor of safety of two would be suitable. The numerical model gave us these results. As you can see, only four of these systems, C, D, G, and J, gave us factor of safety of more than two. So, technically speaking, or from performance point of view, only these four are acceptable. Now we are going to the multi-criteria methods to rank between these, so the four which have been shown to be acceptable are supporting B40 shot grids, eight centimeters in thickness together with rock poles, application of roof piping together with cement injection, and steel arches with 50 centimeter spacing, and of course application of steel arches with one meter spacing together with 